Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verses 1 to 2 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? And David is speaking about it here. And David was said to be a man after God's own heart, but that doesn't mean that he was perfect. The only perfect person who has ever lived is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. David sinned. He slipped up. He made mistakes, but he was still called a man after God's own heart. And I believe his attitude is portrayed perfectly in the scripture in that when he sinned, he didn't just, you know, brush it off and be like, okay, cool, you know, whatever the Lord has forgiven me of my sins. No, he praised the Lord and he worshiped the Lord for it and he knew what the Lord had done for him by forgiving him of his sins. And we need to have the exact same attitude as David had, family. Otherwise, we start taking God's grace and God's forgiveness of our sins for granted. We start trampling on the blood of Jesus when we take his forgiveness for our sins for granted, that it's just something small that he's done for us or, you know, that it's just something that's owed to us by God. Family, God owes us nothing at the end of the day. He is the creator of the universe and we are his creation. We are his children, yes, family, but he doesn't owe us anything. But because he loves us so much, he chooses to forgive us of our sins. And we must have the same kind of attitude as David had towards the, the forgiveness of our sins, that we must be grateful that he has forgiven us for the multitudes of sins that we've committed, those that we knowingly commit and those that we even unknowingly commit, family. We must praise the Lord and be joyous that he has forgiven us of these sins. We must be grateful for it, family. As David says in the scripture, what joy for those whose disobedience are forgiven. If you truly knew the severity of your sin and the punishment that is actually due to you for the sins that you've committed, because at the end of the day, family, if our sins are unforgiven, we're going to hell. That is the punishment that awaits those whose sins are unforgiven. That is why David says, oh, what joy for those whose sins are forgiven family and we need to have that same kind of joy you see family sin acts as a barrier as a separation between us and God God still loves us but when we sin it acts as a physical barrier we down here on earth God is up here and our sin acts as a barrier I like to sometimes say it as a cloud you know God is the sun and we're chilling here on earth and our sin acts as clouds so even though we know that the sun is still there because we can see the light around us and sometimes feel a bit of the warmth our clouds the clouds, our sins, stop us from having that direct line of sight with the sun and the sun being, like I said, God. So family, our sin acts as a barrier. And when it acts as a barrier, we're in a state of separation from God. And that's a dangerous place to be, family. But when the clouds are gone, when the sin is forgiven, we can see the sun, we can enjoy its warmth and all the vitamins and the wonderful things that the sun does for us and the environment around us, family. So this, it's important that that sin is forgiven because when that sin is forgiven and those clouds are washed away or dissolved away, family, we're in the presence of the Lord. And the Bible says where the presence of the Lord is, there is fullness of joy. There's fullness of joy for us who are in the presence of the Lord. And those who are in the presence of the Lord are walking in forgiveness of sins. So we need to walk in that joy. We need to be grateful for what God has done for us. As David said there, he said, yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt. What joy for us, family, because we can walk in the joy and in the presence of the Lord. And lastly, it says there, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. And that's also an important part, honesty. We need to be honest with the Lord, family. When we've sinned, we can't just brush it off and think, okay, you know, it's it's okay, the Lord forgives me. No, we need to be honest with the Lord. Even though he knows about it, we need to come to him and say, Lord, I've sinned, please forgive me. And the Bible says that if we, if we ask him to forgive us of our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of any and all unrighteousness. So I want you to do just that family I want to encourage you to do just that going forward to walk in honesty with the Lord when you sin ask him to forgive you and know that as he forgive as you ask he forgives you freely family and we can walk forward in that forgiveness and as we walk forward in that forgiveness we can walk in his presence and as we walk in that presence we can walk in the fullness of the joy of the Lord and as we walk in the fullness of the joy of the Lord we can praise the Lord worship the Lord and be thankful for all that he's done and for the sins that he's forgiven us for thank you family I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer.
Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your scriptures here. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the testimony that David is giving of your goodness. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness that you have given us. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for each and every sin that you've forgiven us of, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we can walk in that forgiveness. We thank you, Lord, for your marvelous forgiveness, that even though it's not our right, Lord, even though you don't owe it to us, Lord, we can walk in it because of your love for us. And we thank you, Lord, that as we walk in the forgiveness of us, Lord, we can walk in your presence. And as we walk in your presence, Lord, we are filled with the joy of your presence. We are filled with the presence of the Lord and with the joy of the Lord. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you continue to do and accomplish in us and through us as we continue to walk in your forgiveness. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.